That's how it's done. <laughs> All right, what day are we on? We did day 11, I think. Day 11, back down at the allotment. We've bought four barrel loads of this wood chip to spread around here. This is, as I said, our little, our little resting area that we're, we're going to make a little nice area. I've bought a little garden incinerator, but here you'll see that in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, next thing we've got to do, spread all this out. The sun is high in the sky at the moment, so we're taking it easy. We've had a big long trek getting these, so just little bits and often. There we go. That is the bench in place. This is the wood. It's been raked out and it's been stamped down by people and adults and children. So yeah, what you see is this stuff here. It's it's fresh, fresh bark or wood chip for the mo moment with some leaves and stuff in that. That's good for keeping the weeds down because it actually puts to toxins into the ground that kills off the weeds for a little while. So that will be he very helpful. Another way, when you're putting wood chip down, it's got to be quite thick. An inch to two inches thick would do a good job. Our allotment neighbor, Keith, just two, two allotments up there, gave us some runner, runner beans a couple of days ago. I might have said that, um, but what he said is we could start planting these down now. And the idea is we're going to plant them in this spot here, this little pot here. Uh, we're going to plant them in a circle and then put up this, like, you know, the metal pyramid coney things. And so the idea is eventually the beans will grow up and it'll be the first thing we're actually planting here in the allotment pot. So I'm quite excited. First thing I want to do is I want to mark out the circle. OK, so I'm using my hammer. I'm using the appliance of science here to mark out the circle that we're going to do. Keeping my handle centered, well, centered ish. There we go. I've marked a bit of a circle. You can just about make it out. And then I'm just going to go round and then put in, say, one, two, three, four, and then do in the middle between those one, two, uh, three, it's hard to see actually. Four, and then this is where the runner beans are going. So let's just chuck them in. This is the first thing we're planting today and I literally have no idea if I'm supposed to put it a certain way up or anything. So, oops, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe put that one there, seven, and eight. I kind of feel like they should be that way up. As well one as in the middle for luck. one in the middle. All right, we'll put one in the middle, Bexy. There we go. We'll do that. Um, we also, as well, we've got other stuff that we can plant most of the year round. We've got a polytunnel, so we can grow quite a few things in it. Some things we can plant straight away. We've got things like um, there's lettuce in there. We've got uh, lettuce in there as well. More lettuce. We've got onions. Onions we can plant this, uh, at this time of year. Carrots as well. We can do red onion and then two types of spinach and turnip as well. So yeah, lots of stuff that we can plant and we're looking forward to getting stuff into our polytunnel. We've got some shelves that we're about to put up now. So you'll get to watch me do that. There we go. Shelves have been built. Awesome. Now we can put stuff on them. Shelves with stuff. Another thing we're going to be planting today is garlic. That's right. We've got some organic garlic. We've got it from Pesco. It's every little helps. Um, we've got some organic garlic. The reason we've got organic is because it's not going to have many chemicals and stuff like that. And then we were told how to plant it by our lovely neighbor, Keith. What you do is you take it out. You plant it root side down. But you see this little fiddly bit right at the very top. You pinch that off. You just pinch that off there at the top and then you can stick it in the ground just like that garlic is planted covered over now so that you can see the compost is a lot higher just got to get it watered down and then we're going to plant some more of our beans in our polytunnel all right now we're here so our neighbor keith turns out we got it wrong we didn't have to plant them outside we planted them in the polytunnel for now and then plant them out later in the year so that's what we're going to do we're going to plant these in now Get these in nice and neat. I just wonder, I think that they, they're supposed to be this way down. If someone in the comments knows better, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll put, put a few in this way. Down. We'll put these ones in this way down and the other ones just throw them in any old way and see what happens. 
we'll cover these up again as well once we're done we'll get these covered over and hopefully fairly soon soon we'll get shoots coming up do bean watch bean watch 2022 how do you think it's going to go folks i mean ultimately you think that these things when they fall off their little pods or explode out of their pods they're not going to land you know they're not going to go like that they're going to fall out sideways or front ways or whatever nature finds a way as a very clever scientist said um so that's that's we're we're hoping that nature finds a better way here <laughs> you never know so let's just see how it goes let's see what we have success with and what's what we don't now i'm going to cover this up just get a little bit more compost There we go, that's it done. May not be the prettiest, but it works. I'm definitely buying a new watering can. But there we go, that's that's today. We've started planting things, folks. Planting things, are you excited? Let us know, tell us if you're excited. In the meantime, we're gonna go pack up our stuff. We're away to the vet to pick up our cat. We'll be back again tomorrow.